Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Bug nice. Coming at you with another daily news update. Been a couple of days since I tapped in since the most recent episode of x 97. Before that episode dropped, I had a prediction video with a few predictions that I thought would unfold in these final three episodes of the season. I was pretty confident that we'd see Magneto go crazy and destroy something. And I guess he kind of did, but I figured his attack would be more towards the humans or the city, which I do believe still may be on the horizon. Also predicted that we would see another form for Bastion, which we didn't see yet, but I do think we will see him morph at some point. And then I also said that I thought we would see Wolverine unleashed and get to sort of unload a bit. And we did actually see that. Some great fight scenes with Wolverine, a great fight scene with Wolverine and Nightcrawler together. I'm just loving the animation on the show, man. Some great cameos in this past episode. We saw Dr. Doom. We saw Baron Zemo. We saw Spider-Man, Silver Samurai. We also saw Morph morph into the Juggernaut for a moment. A lot of cool plot points to dissect, and um, I'm really interested to see where these last two episodes go. But I'll talk about this more in depth on the next episode of the ACBA podcast, which will be tonight at about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So tune into the channel for that. In terms of toy news, we got word yesterday that the upcoming Hasbro Marvel Legends 85th anniversary anniversary Warbird, aka Miss Marvel, will go up for pre-order on the 9th of May. So 5924. This is a Target exclusive. So you have to order through Target as it is exclusive to Target. Absolutely a must own everything from the 70s through some of the more modern storylines. Shit, you may want to actually get doubles or triples of this figure if you want to display her in different teams and what have you. Absolutely absolutely a cop for me. Other things to note, we talked about this on last week's episode of the podcast, but the Transformers Megatron flagship series auto converting robot by Robeson is still up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store. $900 price tag for this, and it looks like Optimus Prime is up again as well. I think this might have sold out at some point. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, you can't have Optimus Prime without Megatron, right? Also, I see a Hot Wheels version of Optimus Prime. They're calling it Track Fleet Optimus Prime is up there. I might actually cop this. I did actually cop a Hot Wheels little Razor Crest today, actually. I got a pretty decent pile of loot coming in from Big Bad Toy Store at some point. Looks like the tracksuit mafia dudes are still available on Big Bad Toy Store. So if you want to bolster your tracksuit mafia army, then you can do that. Also, the Berserk SH Figure Arts Guts Berserker Armor figure is in stock at Big Bad Toy Store. $129 for that. If you didn't get a chance to snag the Uncanny X-Men Marvel Legends Angel, that is in stock. And it looks like the uh, Spider-Man Noir from uh, Sentinel has arrived at Big Bad Toy Store too. I got this a uh, couple months back and then I think it had went back up for pre-order and it's available once again. So I was able to finally complete the full team from the first Into the Spider-Verse movie through Sentinel. Again, Sentinel is the only company that has the entire team from that first movie and figure form. Although the penny, you know, is questionable as it is a static figure. Don't forget to pre-order your Hasbro Marvel Legends Danny Catch Ghost Rider that you can also do through Big Bad Toy Store. All right, I'm getting up out of here, but real quick, X Corpio has a review for the Wolfsbane figure from the Zabu Builder Figure Wave. They actually got the full wave, and also I see a custom piece from the Glowing Ghost of Armor. And you know, some months back, maybe like a year ago now, I spoke to Ryan about the possibility of Marvel Legends doing that figure. With them trying to complete the Astonishing X Men crew, I'd love them to top that off with a deluxe armor figure at some point but all right talk to y'all later i'm out peace i'm in the game i'm grinding i got to play 24 hours in the day seven days out the week i never sleep i'm on my grizzly bear 52 weeks out the year yeah